Shri Guru Bhyona Maha children. Today we are going to continue with the combination of resistors. Now yesterday we discussed resistors connected in series. Now when we connect resistors in serial combination, we found out that the effective resistance is equal to the sum of the individual resistors. Okay. And we also found out that the effective resistance will have a value which is greater than the greater value of the individual resistors. So, this is what we discussed yesterday. Okay, hope you went through the concepts of yesterday's class. And if you have anything to be clarified, some of you were not there in yesterday's class. But I shared the link yesterday. Hope you went through the link. If you have any doubts to be clarified, you can ask me. I will teach you once again. No problem, children. Okay. So you can call me anytime. If you have any doubts to be discussed in the link, please uh, let me know. I will uh, teach you again. Okay. So with this, we are moving on to the next topic, which is resistors in parallel. Okay. Now, this is a diagram. Uh, where the two resistors are connected in parallel. Look at the resistors. Now, this is resistor R1. This is resistor R2. Now, these two resistors are connected in parallel. Okay. Now, the charges start flowing from A, which is at the left side. Now, at this point, now the current is split up as I1 and I2. They, pa they, they pass through partly here and partly here because at this point they divide. So, the current also it gets divided. Okay. So, this is the current I. Sorry. This is the current I and from this point of junction it is split up. This It is getting split up. So, current here this along this resistor the current will be I1. Now, along this resistor the current is I2 and once again from here it becomes I. Okay. So, what will be the total uh, current? Okay. This is with respect to uh, two resistors. Okay. And this is the diagram. Uh, no, this is the, a different diagram which we will be discussing later. And you have in your textbook uh, page number 108. Now, this is with respect to two resistors that are connected in parallel and you have one more diagram in page number 108 where uh, three resistors are connected in parallel. Okay, just you can refer the diagram. Uh, let us go to the effective resistance of these resistors. So, what will be the total current as far as this diagram is concerned? The total current will be, let me adjust, yes. Now, the total current will be I is equal to, I is equal to I1 plus I2 because at that junction, at this junction, the current is getting split up. So, the total current will be the sum of the currents along the two resistors that are connected in parallel. Okay. So, first we will find out what is the potential difference. Now, the potential difference between A and B. Okay, so first we need to find out what is the potential. Potential difference is going to be the same because current is splitting up. So, potential difference will remain the uh, same. We will see what is the potential difference between A and B. It is given by Ohm's law. So, what is potential difference according to Ohm's law with respect to the first resistor? So, it is V is equal to I1 into R1. Clear? Now, from this, I can have the value of I1 to be, sorry, the value of I1 to be V by R1. Am I right? Okay. Similarly, I will write the potential difference for the second resistor, which is also V. Okay. This is applicable for the second resistor. Again, I will have I2 R2 or I2 equal to V by R2. So, from this equation, now in the previous topic, 
potential difference was varying and current was remaining the same when connected when resistors connected in series it was found that current remained the same and there is a change in the potential difference so we wrote v1 equal to i r1 v2 equal to i r2 in the last topic but here the potential difference is going to be the same and i have written for separate uh, with respect to r1 with respect to r2 i have written i have taken the value of current as i1 equal to v by r1 and i2 equal to v by r2 okay ma now if this combination of two resistors are replaced by a single resistance then what will be r equivalent r equivalent will be actually this is equal to i equal to v by r equivalent so these are the three equations which i'm going to substitute for the total value of current now this is i now this is i2 and here it is i1 so these three equations i'm going to substitute now let us take the equation what is the total current equation this is the equation substitute so i is equal to i1 plus i2 right now here i substitute for i as v by r equivalent equal to what is i1 children i1 is v by r1 plus i2 is v by r2 so all the v gets cancelled so here is the equation for the effective resistance so 1 by r equivalent equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 now if it is going to be restricted for only two resistors i can simplify this also children 1 by r equivalent equal to when i take this lcm see here it will be r1 r2 right in the denominator now in the numerator you have r2 plus r1 okay now this is 1 by r equivalent so r equivalent will be r1 r2 by r2 plus r1 remember children this is with respect to only two resistors if you have only two now this is this formula is for you to solve numericals now this can be used instead of uh, going for 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 this is also the formula actually this is the exact formula but in numericals if they restrict to only two resistors then you can directly go for this formula but if it is more than two resistors then you have to go for this formula only no doubt about that clear so this is the effective resistance the effective resistance the reciprocal of the effective resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the individual resistors now this is with respect to two resistors children now if it is going to be uh, three resistors that are connected in parallel then you have the formula again for uh, the total value of current will be i equal to i1 plus sorry i1 plus i2 plus i3 and you will be substituting for i as v by r equivalent this is equal to v by r1 plus v by r2 plus v by r3 so when i cancel out all the v's i have 1 by r equivalent equal to 1 by r1 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so this is the effective resistance for the network of three resistors is it clear children so this is how now this may extend up to n number of resistors so if it is going to be n number of resistors what will be r equivalent 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 up to 1 by rn so this will be the effective resistance when it is extending up to n number of resistors so now in words uh, when i say the uh, effective resistance is the reciprocal of the effective resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the individual resistors.
okay so this is also a very very important uh, formula okay now look at this connection children it's a it's a combination of series and parallel connection look at the diagram now here uh, there are three resistors children see here r1 r2 r3 okay and if i ask you to find out what is the potential difference between a and c so how do you go for it now i have combined both serial connection and parallel connection let me tell you now here these two resistors are connected in series or parallel now here they are connected in parallel so first find out what will be the effective resistance of this now just now we uh, arrived at an equation uh, resistors connected in parallel will be 1 by 1 by r equivalent will be 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so you will find out the equivalent resistance now let this be drawn as this this is the equivalent resistance of the two resistors 2 3 and this combination is in series with r1 yes or no now these two together combine you will have r equivalent of 1 2 3 resistor now we are going to write the uh, formula for this let us see first now the resistors that are connected in parallel so their effective resistance will be 1 by r equivalent of the second and the third resistor okay ma so i will write as 1 by r q 2 3 now this is equal to 1 by r 2 plus 1 by r3 am i right yes so this can be written as what this is equal to i have already told you the formula take the uh, lcm you will have r3 plus r2 in the numerator or simply r equivalent of 2 3 can be written as r2 r3 by r3 plus r2 okay ma okay now this combination this effective resistance is in series with what resistance children this is in series with r1 so now they are connected in series so what will be the formula now so i am going to finally write the resistance equivalent resistance of uh, 1 2 3 now this is equal to r equivalent of 2 3 plus what is the remaining resistor it is r1 okay ma is it clear children right okay now what is the voltage between now this combination now this combination is uh, simplified to one resistor so this resistance is nothing but the combination of all these three okay so now i am going to find out the potential between a and c so if the potential if the voltage between a and c is v then what will be the value of uh, current now i can easily now this is this will be the effective resistance now based on our previous formula resistance in series uh, resistors in parallel so this will be the equivalent resistance for this combination now i will find out the value of current here so current will be what is the formula for current children current is v by r so v by r equivalent of 1 2 3 right okay ma now i will substitute v by what is r equivalent r equivalent is let me write this r1 first r1 plus what is r equivalent r equivalent will be r2 r3 by r3 plus r2 am i right am i right now simplify this so now my equation of current will be i equal to first you cross multiply this so v by we'll write this first okay uh, now this will be r1 r3 plus r1 r2 plus r2 r3 and after cross multiplying this this you will be taken to the numerator so v into r3 plus r2 so this will be the current for this combination of resistors hope you are very clear on this okay ma very simple only thing is you have to understand the concept very clearly how uh, when how resistors are connected we are going to discuss uh, so many problems based on this when you do problems you will be able to understand it better okay ma 
So with this, I'm going to discuss some three problems, children. The first problem, the first two problems are very easy. The third one is a lengthy problem. We'll see it, what it is, right? So let us go to this problem. Three resistors. Three resistors of 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm. So let me write the value. R1 is, R1 is 1 ohm, R2 is 2 ohm, R3 is 3 ohm. Okay. They are combined in series. Okay. So it is combined in series. What is the total resistance of the combination? So when they are connected in series, what will be RS? RS will be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So make it fast to get the value. So it is 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6 ohm. So I have found out the answer for the first question. What is the total resistance of the combination? So the total resistance is 6 ohm, right? Okay. If the combination is connected to a battery of 12 volt, so V is given as 12 volt and negligible internal resistance. We are going to the next topic, internal resistance. Very important. Okay. So we are not considering the internal resistance at all. Now, what will be the potential drop across each resistor? As I told you, in series connection, potential will not be the same. So we are going to find out what is the potential drop across each resistor. So what is the formula for a potential drop? So potential drop across uh, across R1 is equal to what is the value? It is V1 which is equal to I into R1. Current is the same. So I will substitute 6 into what is the value of the first resistor? 1. So it is 6 volt. Similarly, what is the potential drop across? R2 which is equal to V2. Again current remains the same. So it is I into R2 which is uh, what is I? Again this is coming. I don't know why. Okay. So what is the value of current? Current is current is what is the value of current? Current is oh I didn't write the value of current here. Okay. So I is equal to substitute. I is equal to V by R. Find out the value. Excuse me, children. V by R. So it is value of V is 12. Sorry, I forgot this. V by uh, the effective resistance is 6. So it is what is the value of current? It is 2 ampere. So I should substitute 2 here. Sorry, children, by mistake. So 2 into 1 is 2 volt. Okay, similarly, the next is IR2. Again, 2 into R2 is 2, which is 4 volt. And the similarly, potential drop across R3 will be V3, which is equal to I into R3. So, I is again 2, R3 is 3, so it is 6 volt. You understood? Uh, we forgot to calculate the value of current. As soon as we calculate the effective resistance, immediately we should calculate the value of current because potential is given. So, I calculated the current. Then I found out potential drop across each resistor which is given by this formula V1 equal to IR1, V2 equal to IR2 and V3 equal to IR3, I is 2. So you substitute the individual resistors 1, 2, 3, you get the answer of potential drop across each resistor. Clear? Right. The next is some 3 resistors again, again we are going to have 3 resistors. Uh, let me, one minute children. Ah, okay. Now here R1, so once again R1 is 2 ohm, R2 is 4 ohm, R3 is 5 ohm, okay. Now they are combined in parallel, what is the total resistance? So for parallel connection, 1 by Rp equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So substitute you have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5. Now the LCM will be, I think it will be 20. Yes. Right, 20 only, no? Okay. So here 10 times, here it is 5 times, here it is 4. So 10 by 15, 19 by 20 is 1 by RP. RP will be 20 by 19 ohm. So this is my effective resistance of the combination of resistors connected through 
connected in parallel okay first now rp is there now i need to find out the value of um, what is the question if the combination is connected to a battery of emf 20 volt so v v is 20 volt now this is going to be constant okay uh, find again here also internal resistance is negligible determine the current through each resistor and the total current drawn from the battery so first i have to determine current through individual resistor so current through current through r1 r1 is equal to i1 which is equal to v by r1 correct so what is v v is 20 r1 is 2 so this is 10 ampere okay similarly current through r2 current through r2 is i2 which is v by r2 again 20 divided by 4 is 5 ampere similarly current through r3 okay it is I3 which is equal to V by R3. Uh, v is again 20. R3 is 5 which is 4 ampere. And not only this. One more question is there. Total current. Total current is I total. I total will be you will add all the values. 10 plus 5 plus 4. So what is the total value current which is 19 ampere is the answer. Okay, so the first sum, it is serial connection. The second one is parallel connection. Now, we are going on to a very important sum, which this is your book back children, book back question. Look at the question, it is a very lengthy question. You need to have a very lengthy answer for this. Given N resistors of each resistance R, how will you combine them to get the maximum and minimum effective resistance? What is the ratio of maximum to minimum resistance? Okay, let me solve this here itself. Uh, there are n number of resistors children and uh, each resistor is having a value of resistance R. Now, how will you combine them to get the maximum resistance? Now, I go for uh, the conclusions. When I discuss the conclusion, when resistors are connected in series, the effective resistance will be greater than the greater value of the resistor. Similarly, when resistors are connected in parallel, the effective resistance will be the will be having a value lesser than the least resistor. Okay, so lesser than the least, greater than the greater value, greater than the greatest means that is the maximum and minimum effective resistance. So the question is. N resistors, each of resistance are connected in series, you will have the maximum resistance. Yes or no? Yes or no? You are able to understand when the resistance is said to be maximum, when it is connected in series. When the resistance is to have a minimum value, when it is connected in parallel. That's what I said. When your resistors connected in parallel, the effective resistance will be the lesser than the least value in that case the effective resistance will be minimum so when you have minimum effective resistance when it is connected in parallel when you have maximum resistance when it is connected in series so i will write the say statement here maximum effective resistance okay for maximum effective resistance how the resistors are to be connected now n resistors resistors must be how it should be connected children must be connected in series so what will be the effective resistance now so effective resistance rs will be you will have r1 r2 r3 up to nr so the effective resistance will be n times into the resistance of each resistor is it clear? Yes. Now next for minimum effective resistance for minimum effective resistance N resistors must be how it should be connected 
it should be connected in parallel okay if you connect it parallel now what will be rp rp will be now serial connection it is n r parallel connection it should be r by n okay now we have answered for the first and second subdivision of this now there is one more question what is the ratio of maximum to minimum so maximum to minimum ratio you can find out the ratio of it which is rs by rp which is equal to n r by r by n which is equal to n square by 1 the ratio is n square is to 1 so this is the answer for the first subdivision a <clears throat> are you able to understand children yes hope you have understood this next given the resistances of 1 ohm 2 ohm 3 ohm how will we combine them to get an equivalent resistance of 11 by 3, 11 by 5, 6 ohm and 6 by 11 ohm. Now, the effective resistance value is given children. Now, they have given 4 effective resistance. In that case, you can have 4 different combination. So, how can you connect these 3 resistors in 4 different combination to get the effective resistance of all these values now this is very simple i can find out easily this value when they are connected in series you will get the effective resistance to be 6 ohm right see here 1 plus 2 plus 3 resistors connected in series you will have the effective resistance to be 6 ohm so for the answer for the third uh, subdivision the answer is the three resistors are connected in series to give the effective resistance of 6 ohm similarly when they are connected in parallel, you will get this effective resistance. Just think 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. The effective resistance will be 6. You will have uh, the value of the effective resistance uh, to be 11 by 6 for 1 by RP and RP will be 6 by 11. So, I have answered for the third and the fourth subdivision. But here is the combination which is different let me go for it now okay so subdivision b subdivision b in that i am going to answer uh, the first one okay ma right okay now for the first one how the resistors to be connected so let us write the value of resistance as r1 equal to 1 ohm r2 equal to 2 ohm r3 equal to 3 ohm so here let us take r1 and r2 are connected in parallel first okay and the effective that is and the combination of this combination is in series with r3 so this is how the first combination goes on so first let us find out what is 1 by rp 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 because they are connected in parallel Sub substitute 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 so lcm is 2 so it is 2 plus 1 which is 3 by 2 ohm now this is so the effective resistance ris will be uh, now this is 1 by rp so rp will be 2 by 3 ohm correct yes or no so rs will be rp plus r3 correct so substitute rp is 2 by 3 and r3 is 3 so 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 2 11 by 3 will be the effective now we have got the answer for the first one okay now Second, B the second, how these resistors are combined uh, connected so that you get the answer to be 11 by 5. We will see how it is. Now here R2 and R3 are connected in parallel and the combination is in series with r1 okay now i can go for first parallel combination rp is equal to r2 r3 by 
R2 plus R3. So I have 2 into 3 by 5 which is 6 by 5. I went for 2 resistors formula. Okay, then RS will be RP plus R1 which is equal to 6 by 5 plus 1 is equal to here I will get the answer. So here it will be 11 by 5 ohm. Is it clear? Is it clear? So and already I have discussed the third and fourth case. Third case is you connect it serially the effective resistance will be 6 ohm. Then you connect all the three resistors in parallel the effective resistance will be 6 by 11. Okay. Now one more question is there which I will be discussing. It is time now. I cannot do it now. I will be discussing that uh, alone tomorrow and they will continue with the cells. Okay ma just try it. It is just a diagram. I will explain you but you also try. Okay. So see you tomorrow. Just try to work out these problems ma. Hmm?